Hey, what's up guys? It's Barbara Botain and I'm back on your screen with another video. Today's video is extra special. If you don't know by now, it is Haitian Heritage Month. You already know what it is. If you don't know, now you know. So, I'm super excited for this video. I have collaborated with a beautiful Haitian sister of mine. She's on here and on Instagram. Her name is Styled by Me. She's a fashion blogger and YouTuber. She's also a boutique owner, so I will also leave the name of her page right here. So make sure you guys go support Haitian owned, black owned. We have collaborated in this video to show you guys three ball looks, okay, honey? When you go suke, suke go, you know, at the ball, you know, or whatever. <laughs> we came up with three looks. She's gonna handle the fashion. I'm gonna handle the makeup looks. Please make sure you go over to Styled by Me's YouTube page. You can see her looks and how we coordinated our looks together. And make sure you subscribe to her channel. And so, without further ado, let's get right into the looks. All right, so I am doing what I always do. I am just setting my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It is my primer of choice. So this look is gonna coordinate with Style by Me's orange beautiful dress. I'm taking that side, women that side. I'm taking my Jackie Aina palette and I'm going into the color Ginger. It's like a brown, orange, perfect mix for a, um, transition shade I'm using that with my Sedona lace EB 13 and I'm putting that in the upper portion of my crease and then I'm just going in circular motions and windshield wiper motions to blend that on out I'm gonna take that all the way into my inner corner too just so that all the eyeshadows are cohesive when I put the other ones on my lid then I'm gonna go into that same palette I'm going to take the color edges and when I tell you these colors are so pigmented guys you just need a dab and I'm just taking a smaller brush and just blending the edges of that other color with it then we're going to take the color ginger it's a super or credit sorry it's a super pigmented dark brown but it's beautiful for the crease I'm going to take that crown brush and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my crease directly into my crease and the outer more so in the outer portion of my crease as you can see the look on my face I, I saw how pigmented the color was like I forgot how good like these colors were and I'm using a crown c441 brush now I'm going to into my old faithful Jaclyn Hill palette I'm taking I don't know the names of these palettes these colors and I'm not about to find out but I just took like a matte flesh tone like Caucasian flesh tone and put that on my brow bone then I'm taking the color Soleil from the Jackie Aina palette and I'm just gonna swirl that into my inner corner that color is so pretty that perfect inner color corner inner corner inner you know what I mean now I'm taking the the star of the show sponsored beautiful 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 it's like almost like a pressed pigment it's so pretty um, I ended up wetting the brush even though I really didn't need to with these um, colors um, but yeah I'm just patting that in with a morphe brush that was a morphe m432 now I'm just you know correcting my, my little mistakes where anything is not blended I want to make sure the two shadows blend into each other now I'm taking my wet and wild eyeliner and I'm going to line my eyes per usual nothing crazy just a regular eyeliner and this is the wet and wild mega liner and I'm gonna guess the colors black <laughs> now I'm taking some regular Dugular Aliexpress lashes I don't know the exact name but take the lashes do like girl since this look is a little bit, you know, less va 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 boom, but it's still pretty. I just wanted to take a, a lash that was in between. Not too crazy, but not too simple. 
now I'm taking my roller lash this is self-explanatory you always want to put some um, on your lower lash line and your upper lash line going back with Soleil and just perfecting that inner corner to make sure it pops like it needs to baby now I'm taking my old faithful my wet and wild brown pencil okay I'm not going if it, broke, if it ain't broke don't fix it I am using that to line my lips and then I'm going to eventually take a NYX NYX liquid suede and I'm going to put that on my lips it's like a matte pinky color the color is desert first now I'm taking my favorite NYX gloss the the butter gloss and the color ginger snap and ugh, perfect beautiful brown color and that's the final look for this one guys perfect with the uh, the orange dress perfect 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 yes Slay queen, slay. Now for this look, this is the look I'm going to do with the green number. I'm going into that Jackie, that Jaclyn Hill palette with my same Sedona Lace EB13 and going ham. Pretty much putting that everywhere but my lid. Then I'm gonna go into the same palette. I'm taking like a brownish color with red undertones. So I can start off that smoky eye and then I'm going to blend with a smaller brush, just the crease portion. The smaller brush is a Sedona Lace E, E B, I can't read the numbers, but it's a smaller Sedona Lace brush. The brown color I'm taking is Prowl from the Armed and Gorgeous palette. Then I'm going in with the NYX pigment, it's like a gold, perfect, bronzy shade, it's called Walnut. And it's a NYX pressed pigment. Gorgeous, as you can see. Like, and you don't need much of it. Just doing like a spotlight kind of halo eye. And then I'm gonna line my eye. I'm not gonna do a wing for this one. I just want to keep this one understated as the look says. And I am just lining my eyes with just a thin line. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Then Always with eyeshadow, whatever you do on top, you probably want to do it at the bottom, depending, you know, for most cases. So I'm taking that brown, putting that back in my lower, in my lower lash line, just to get, make everything even. And then I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and use those orangey colors, uh, just to bring everything, make everything cohesive. Now I'm taking a very simple lash. It's the Ardell 113s. Love these. They're long, but they're wispy. But they're still dramatic at the same time, you know what I'm saying? And the band is light, is uh, thin, so it doesn't look too dramatic. Now I'm going in with my Rimmel I Exaggerate in the color Noir. Just putting a little bit, not too much. You could have also put like a brown. That would be cute too. You know the routine. Mascara. Now I'm going to go in with that same NYX matte lip color that I used in the previous look. I'm pretty much showing you how you can use th th uh, the same products for three looks. And then I put a little bit of the LA Girl in there concealer to make it more nudie and not as pink. And that's the look for that one. Yes come through and can you believe I did all three looks in one day in one sitting it took me like four hours y'all so make sure you like this video subscribe now this is the bang 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 she extra trying to get snatched up and this is the one I'm gonna pairing with her black dress also I need that dress too sis but anyway I'm taking a dark brown color in my Jaclyn Hill one palette same kind of deal same kind of deal putting that all everywhere but, but, but my lid then I'm going back into credit because that brown is undefeated. And that's gonna be my crease color and we're just preparing for the smoky eye. 
Now we're going back into the Jaclyn Hill one and using the black called Temptress. And this is gonna be the base for our glitter that we're about to use. And I'm using a crown brush. And then I'm gonna basically put those same browns in my lower lash line, blend it all out. You don't wanna have raccoon eyes, but you do wanna have shadow down there. Now I'm taking my, no, my Urban Decay Heavy Metal, the silver one, Glam Rock. Um, in hindsight, I wouldn't have used this because it was like giving me gaps and it was looking patchy. Use a, use a, like a loose glitter if you have one. I'm taking like an iridescent white, putting that in my, on my brow bone. Then I'm going to line my eye with the same Wet n Wild uh, liner. And I know I'm going fast, so everything's going to be down below. Or you can just ask me, because this is a lot of products to put down below. But anyway, I'm still going to do it. And this wing is going to be a little bit more dramatic just to match the look. And these lashes are going to be more dramatic just to match this look. Because when you have all that glitter going on, you need, you need to match it, honey. And these are just some AliExpress lashes, you know. I don't know where exactly it's from, but I just have a bunch of them just lying around. And then I'm just cleaning up the bottom. Going into that Armed and Gorgeous palette using the color VIP. If there was a time to use this color, this is the time. Putting that in my inner corner and that color just makes everything pop. Now I'm gonna take my NYX matte, soft matte lip cream in the color Copenhagen. Very beautiful color. And this, it goes perfectly with the black dress and the sparkly eyes. And then I'm going to take black, my black eyeliner, I know. And that's the final look, guys. Guys, please make sure you go to Style By Me's page. Subscribe to her channel. Go see her looks because she killed it with the looks and the dresses. So, bye.